This is my video response to Song to Celia by Ben Johnson. This one I thought was a bit more difficult to understand. Not that the language was particularly difficult, but it was just I had a hard time figuring out what he was trying to get across. Um, and I think just in general, it's it's a unrequited love type of thing where he's talking about the things that he does for her, that he would do for her, and saying that she doesn't respond the way he wants her to, or she, she doesn't seem to care. Um, so I think in that sense, it came across to me as, as a little bit, as a bit resentful, not necessarily written very lovingly. Kind of written in a way that makes you think he's kind of getting tired of the whole thing. Um... And so I think that's, you know, it's, I guess, applicable uh, just to life in general. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a concept that's uh, gotten old, you know, and even, even when it was written back in the 13 or 1600s. Um, but yeah, I, I did have a bit of a hard time understanding it. It was, I, I read it on PoetryFoundation.com, and in the subject, it um, put it onto the subject of unrequited love, and that's when I thought, wait a minute, so then I read it, thinking of it that way, and it started making more sense. Uh, but yeah, I think it's interesting, he talks about, um, uh, if she leaves a kiss in the cup, he won't look for wine, and, you know, that kind of thing where he's saying, she can do, she can do whatever she wants, and no matter what she does, it's gonna, uh, He's gonna love it, and and he knows that she doesn't feel the same way about him, and so that's you know that's a kind of concept that didn't end in the 1600s. That's a that's an ongoing thing, and so I like those kind of poems that can be written a long time ago, and yet they're written about something that's always gonna that always applies. I think that makes it interesting.